he's the dude who's in the mood to pull some carp out for you. He's the dude who's in the mood to show you just what to do. The Canny Carp. swim I haven't tried before and spreading my wings a bit and uh, it's just down the, the same arm of the lake as the uh, what I call the the easier part of the lake but uh, yeah it was nice pleasant day sun's coming out over my right shoulder beautiful see how we go how's that for a hybrid rig three bits of real corn and then I've got a a topper just as I don't know will it be a sort of wafter sort of effect who knows let's try it okay well I feel it's time for a quick catch up face to face as it were how you all doing good the um, lake here has uh, just received quite a uh, an influx of, of storm water so I'm not sure what effect that has on it but uh, Definitely the effect it's had this morning for the past few hours is uh, no bites, no sign of fish. I don't know, I used to hear tales of uh, floodwaters in other countries and um, the fish get in all the silt in their gills and it makes them feel a bit sick and so they just find somewhere to, to lie low until the water freshens up a bit. Don't know if that affects carp that way, wouldn't have a clue, but um, the out come is that uh, I've been blanking now for about three weeks which uh, uh, it's fishing isn't it it's why we keep coming back <clears throat> beautiful day today about uh, 18 degrees at the moment it's going to get up to be about 20 in total I think the uh, breeze is a, a very slight one but it's put a nice bit of break on the water I'm confident, I'm confident, but um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. You saw the rig I'm using just before. I've now done that on both rods, so uh, we'll see how we go. Here's a topper with a bit of corn. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm trying to, maybe I'm getting too tricky and outsmarting myself. Who knows? Wouldn't be difficult, would it? Here. Oh, oh lovely. Oh, only a little and again, but I, I take great fun catching these. Beautiful, beautiful fish, beautiful day. So here's the end rig I got that fish on. First time I've um, caught a fish using the tungsten putty. And it's about an inch away from the, the hook eye. And you can see he uh, snaffled the topper when he sucked that into his gob. And coming over here, I've got about oh, what, 20 inches of mono, 15 pound mono there, straight onto a swivel and then running sinker. It's about a one and a half ounce, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's only light. I like to fish light. And yeah, that fish was the result, which is uh, great. So I'll retie this, and uh, unfortunately, it's time to go and see the chiropractor. So uh, it's probably going to be the last fish that I'll have. But yeah, nice result. Very welcome. Breaks the drought, stops the blanks, and uh, all the other cliches. Fantastic. So I haven't put the second rod out again. I'm about to pack up and go and see the chiropractor just to get some maintenance done on my back which at the moment I can feel that, uh, yeah, I don't need it too badly, but he'll help. Hmm, so hit uh, subscribe if you will, please. It's good to see a fish in the, in the net and on the bank today, wasn't it? Uh, just a quickie, and I uh, hope you like the intro that's uh, 
gonna lead us out as well from the vid. Thanks to John, trading airs, the real crazy uncle. I call him Gypsy John. Anyway, he's a mean guitar player and uh, he's done this uh, intro extra for us. So uh, enjoy, catch you later. He's the dude who's in the mood to pull some carp out for you. He's the dude who's in the mood to show you just what to do for Canny Carp.